An examination with an endoscope helps discover abnormal cells with dysplasia in your esophagus. Cells with high-grade dysplasia are considered precancerous. That does not mean you have cancer or that you will definitely get it. It means these cells have a higher risk of becoming cancerous. Some people choose not to have treatment for high-grade dysplasia. Instead, they have follow-up endoscopies every three months to see if the cells become cancerous. Other people choose to have cells with high-grade dysplasia removed or destroyed. There are a number of options available. Some people choose to have an operation called an esophagectomy to remove the esophagus. If the abnormal cells are in a nodule or bump, an endoscopic mucosal resection might be performed. In this procedure, an endoscope is used to remove the lining of your esophagus that contains cells with high-grade dysplasia. The nodule is removed so the tissue can be examined for signs of cancer. Another option for destroying abnormal cells is called photodynamic therapy. Two days before this treatment, light-sensitive medication is given. Once the medication has been absorbed, the physician uses an endoscope to guide a laser to the site of the abnormal cells. The light from the laser activates the medication in the light-sensitive abnormal cells to destroy them. Typically, healthy cells grow back in their place. This procedure may be repeated a number of times with several months in between. Photodynamic therapy is sometimes used after an endoscopic mucosal resection. That combination, along with esophagectomy, are the treatments that have been used the most and for the longest time for treating Barrett's esophagus with high-grade dysplasia. There are two newer treatments which have been approved by the FDA for treating Barrett's esophagus with high-grade dysplasia. Their long-term effectiveness has not yet been proven. The data collected to date, however, has been promising. One of them uses electrodes to apply radio frequency energy to ablate or destroy abnormal cells. Another treatment option, called cryotherapy, uses extreme cold to destroy abnormal cells. An esophagectomy removes most of the esophagus and nearby lymph nodes that might contain abnormal cells. The other treatments we've discussed only affect part of the lining of the esophagus. It is difficult to tell if they have destroyed all the abnormal cells. Precancerous cells may be left underneath the area that was treated. Even if all the abnormal cells are removed, high-grade dysplasia may occur again. These treatments are sometimes used in combination. They typically require a number of visits to Mayo Clinic. All of them may result in scarring in the esophagus, which can cause difficulty swallowing. The risk of scarring is smallest with radiofrequency ablation. Before deciding on any treatment, discuss the risks and benefits with your healthcare provider. After any of these procedures, you should have regular follow-up examinations of your esophagus. Ask your healthcare provider how often you should have these examinations. The great majority of people with Barrett's esophagus do not get cancer of the esophagus. However, if cancerous cells do appear, it's important to begin treatment as quickly as possible. Mayo Clinic has a very large team with an international reputation for its skill in diagnosing and treating reflux, Barrett's esophagus, and esophagus cancer. Mayo Clinic's Division of Gastroenterology and Hepatology is recognized as number one by U.S. News & World Report. If you wish, you may have the opportunity to participate in a clinical trial of a new or improved treatment. Go to mayoclinic.org to find out how to request an appointment with a Mayo Clinic physician.